Hey guys, what's up? Seven Stop here. Welcome back to another video. Um, and today I'm going to be talking about passive immersion. Why is passive immersion so awesome and why you should be doing it? I know it's been a while since I uploaded, but I wanted to start making videos again. As you can see, I've moved into uh, my dorm. I'm a college student now, um, but I'll still be making videos, so look forward to them. Today I'll be going over why passive immersion is so awesome and some resources I recommend for passive immersion. I've noticed recently, and I guess for a while now probably, uh, passive immersion has kind of fallen out of favor with the community. It used to be like a core tenant of AJ. You're all Japanese all the time. You're always immersing. It used to be like a, a big thing to passively immerse, but I don't see a lot of people promoting it nearly as much. Uh, I think some of it may be tied to the <clears throat> new focus on reading. Like you can't read passively, obviously, and people are just not talking about listening as much in general. But really, you shouldn't sleep on passive immersion. The effect is different for different levels, but particularly for intermediate learners, passive listening is extremely effective and will uh, increase your gains and your listening abilities a lot. Why is this? Well, at beginning stages, you don't understand a lot. You have a small base in the language. So while passive immersion will help you, you'll be listening to something in the background and occasionally picking up things you know, structures, words. It's really effective at intermediate because that's when you are really growing your ability the most. And the point or the purpose of passive immersion is to get to the point where you can understand the language like you do your native language without fully paying attention to it. So in your native language, for example, if you listen to a YouTube video while driving or doing something, you're going to understand like 99% of what's going on um, and you're going to be able to follow it. And if you do enough passive immersion and listening, you'll get there as well with your target language. So if you do a lot of passive immersion, it's just going to make your overall like ability to understand naturally and just in a very fluid way without thinking, it's going to boost that ability quite a bit. If you get good at passive listening, it'll make the target language feel like your native language. You can listen to it in the background and still follow things and uh, listen while you do stuff. There's also other intangible benefits to passive immersing as much as you can, like you stay in the Japanese mode or whatever your target language is. When you speak two languages, you kind of switch between them. And like with, um, if you're always speaking one language a lot, then it might feel like a little bit awkward when you first change back to the other language. But if you keep Japanese going or your target language going, it'll feel more natural to switch back into it at certain times. Kind of like with a lot of other parts of immersion, the effect of uh, passive listening is compounding. So the more you know, the easier it's going to be to passive listen. The more experience you have passive listening, the easier it's going to get until it just becomes natural like in your native language. So how do you set up this passive immersion flow? Um, what device should you use? That kind of thing. So I recommend like a wireless earbud. Um, or you can use wired, but with wireless it's kind of easy to just keep it in. Uh, you don't have to worry about the wire. And I just connect it to my phone. You can connect it to any kind of device that plays audio, but it's just easiest for me to connect it to my phone. So <clears throat> I connect it to my phone, and then I play all kinds of different things. But <clears throat> what I would recommend for different people depends on their level. So if you're a beginner, I recommend the tried and true strategy of just re-listening to content you've already watched actively. So you can use just audio files of the anime or compressed audio which you can download or make yourself. I've never made it but I'll put a link in the description to somewhere where you can download compressed audio that other people have made. I also made a lot of my own like audio files like I would download anime and then I would turn that video I would take out the audio track and just turn that into an audio file put it in my phone and listen to those. I did that a lot. Hey guys so I'm just going to explain how to use this software X Media Recode. I'll put a link to it in the description. This is what I use to make audio files of uh, videos. So like so we have this anime episode here. You just drag it in and then the software will be on some kind of preset like YouTube or something. Uh, you just want to go to custom and then select for format. Just select mp3 or some other audio format. Uh, I'm just going to do mp3 and all you that's all you have to do you just um, select this click add to queue then click encode and it will create a audio file that's just the the video but it's the audio it's not condensed or anything I don't know how to do the condensed thing I know you can do it with subs to SRS um, I'll put a link if I see a video on how to do that in the description but I usually do it this way 
um, just because I it's easy. It takes less effort, and I also like to like listen to the music and the sounds of the anime. And if there's like descriptive audio or something, that's also kind of cool to listen to it with. As you can see, I created an audio file. If you're more intermediate or advanced, I would still recommend doing that. It's still useful, but you will want to start to expand into new content. Just listen to things you haven't listened to before, like um, from intermediate. And even at the beginning, I, I still did this, but when I got better, I listened to a lot of YouTube. I still listen to a lot of YouTube passively all the time. A lot of it I do just listen to on data and I use the YouTube app. So like there's different ways you can do this. You could just get YouTube Red and then you can play it in the background with the screen off or whatever. I'm on Android so I use YouTube Vanced or Revanced or whatever and it basically has all the YouTube Red features but it's free. Um, I'll put a link to download it but you could use YouTube Red, you could use that. Use any other like hacked YouTube app that lets you play stuff in the background, it doesn't matter. Or you could just leave your screen on or something on the regular YouTube app and listen to stuff in the background. I've done all of these things. I also keep a repository of files on my phone when I don't have a connection to listen to Japanese. So those include like random podcasts on YouTube that I just download using JDownloader2. I'll put a link to that in the description. You can download the audio files from a YouTube video and then put it on your phone that way. Another really useful thing that you're going to want to know how to do is how to um, download a YouTube video. So I use this program called JDownloader2. So let's say you want to download an audio file of a YouTube video. Let's just look up like something Kimetsu And let's say you want to download this episode to listen to it on the go. You just take the link, copy the link, and then um, you can click add new links here or <clears throat> it may appear automatically and then in order to like select which whether you want the video the audio whatever you can go on the side here it says file types as you can see I already have audio selected but it, it'll probably have all of them for you so just uncheck all the ones other than audio and then right click here click start downloads and then it will download the uh, audio of this so that was really quick download you can open the directory and then open it up as you can see it's working you can also use audiobook I would say audiobooks are one of the more advanced passive listening sources but you can use those too it's going to be more difficult because it was intended to be like read um, and so the, the sentences are longer, structures are more complex, but that's a, a good option as well. You're going to learn, I guess, a variety of grammar that way. But I usually u listen to just YouTube videos or random podcasts or like, I mean, like Dajio. They just call them Dajio usually in Japan. Um, download those onto my phone and listen to them. Other than anime, you can also listen to dramas and stuff passively. Whatever kind of content you watched actively, you can listen to that passively, which I think is a good idea. That's about a wrap for this video. Try passive listening, it's really effective. And listen more in general. Um, and I will put a bunch of sources in the description and in the video I, I'll have like tutorials on how to do the things that I described. So I hope this was useful for you. See you on the next one. Bye guys. <clears throat>